Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome to the first video of 2020. Now this has actually been recorded in 2019 because Travis Scott just uploaded the music video for Jack Boys, Jack Boys. There's an effect at the beginning that I saw once to do a little tutorial on. Now I assume how the effect was actually made was um, by using a low shutter speed on a camera and taking photos uh, or some way they've done it in After Effects but I want to show you how to get a very similar effect here in Premiere Pro really quickly. If you're new here please hit subscribe, uh, I do regular video editing videos uh, and yeah let's get into this effect. Okay, so first up you're going to want to get a bit of footage. My bit of footage is literally just my camera flying around the room. Um, this is just to get some motion to make the effect more dramatic. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to put this into our timeline and we're going to hit Command R. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the speed to up the speed quite a bit. Let's say to about 800 which will be eight times faster. And then you're going to want to come down to time interpolation and then change it from frame sampling to frame blending. We hit okay, and as you can see, it's a lot. If you play this video, you won't see the effect at all. You will just see a sped up video. Um, if you want to see the effect, then you're going to want to mark in and mark out. You're going to want to go to sequence at the top and then render into out. Now this is going to be really quick and you're probably not going to be able to see much, uh, but don't worry, we're going to slow it down again. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to nest this clip you're going to right click and then click nest um, and click ok then just going to get rid of these uh, markers here by going to clear it in and out I'm going to hit R to bring up the rate stretch tool and then I'm going to stretch this back out again now if you want to uh, see this effect properly this time you're going to want to go and render into out again now you don't have to render in and out every time you do this effect it's just so that you can see it and as you can see we have this sort of blurry now I know this isn't the exact effect but um, it's as close as you can get to it in Premiere uh, without literally doing it with a physical camera. If you want a tutorial on how to do it with a physical camera, I can try and do that some time. But for now, we're just doing it in Premiere. Now that you've got the blur, what you're going to want to do is come to your effects and find uh, Posterize Time. Uh, just search for it and then you're going to want to drop that onto your clip. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bring this down to maybe. Can I mess around with it? I'm going to say 14 for this because I've slowed down the sequence um, so there's 14 will come up as a lot less. If it doesn't work for you just try higher or lower and then I'm going to render that into out. Now that's done we have this and it's a I would say this is a little bit too blurry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the nested sequence um, and just I'm just going to change the speed and change it down to like 500 maybe and then come back here and... but yeah that is basically how you get the effect if you want to mess around with stuff to try and make it your own it depends what your footage is and like how fast your camera is moving but change around the settings and um, if you end up using this effect in the video please let me know uh, through the Instagram DMs or in my comments section I'll be glad to check it out uh, thank you for watching if you're new to the channel please hit subscribe frequent video editing tutorials and um, more along those lines Please like this video, I'd appreciate it, it helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't seen the music video for this yet, the link to that is in the description as well. It's a really good music video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.